What if there was a cure for cancer? What if the cure was something as simple as everyday yeast? The kind used for thousands of years to bake bread or brew beer. Statistics show that one in three people will contract some form of cancer in their lifetime. We have spent over $25 billion over the past 20 years researching and treating cancer and people are still dying. A researcher at Charles Drew University of Medicine and Science has made a promising discovery that cancer cells self-destruct when they ingest this common, non-pathogenic type of heat-killed yeast. The available conventional treatment for cancer is surgery, chemotherapy and radiotherapy. And the chemotherapy or radiotherapy, as all of us know, it's very toxic and it kills the cancer cell and as well as the normal cell. Dr. Mandu Goniam, a cancer researcher at Charles Drew University of Medicine and Science in Los Angeles, believes we need to change direction and rethink everything. What if there was a more natural alternative? One night, Dr. Goniam mixed cancer cells and yeast cells in a dish and discovered under the microscope a cancer cell engulfing the yeast cells through a process called phagocytosis. If this is a story where cancer cells have the ability to eat up other cells, we must use the model of phagocytosis to exploit the cancer's potential weakness. Dr. Goniam's work has been researched and duplicated by leading scientists worldwide, with the results published in leading medical journals. Dr. Goniam was born in Egypt, where he earned his Bachelor's of Science at the University of Mansoura. He was awarded a scholarship to study at the University of Tokyo, where he earned his PhD. He went on to do his postdoctoral studies at UCLA and for the past 25 years has been a professor and researcher at Charles Drew University of Medicine and Science. Dr. Goniam's work uh, could possibly uh, deal with the metastatic disease and I find that very intriguing. So you won't have to say, well, you have metastasis, and well, that's, that's it. There is a possibility that we can deal not only with the local tumor, but with the tumor that has spread throughout the uh, system into the lung, liver, etc. Dr. Gonium cultures the cancer cells with yeast. There are many kinds of yeast, but all of us are familiar with baker's yeast. Dr. Goniam's findings have been confirmed by similar studies recently conducted at the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services National Institutes of Health. This study could lead to a realm of possible applications. What I really thought was that there was great potential for his work to move into becoming a vaccine. And so I, I think a lot of the work he's doing is really exciting and has merit just on its own as being a potential therapy or adjunct therapy for cancer treatments, but I think the potential for a vaccine that is coming from a more natural product for me is really exciting, particularly if it's a vaccine that's going to um, stimulate cells in the body to hopefully prevent or reduce the likelihood of cancer from developing in the future. So as a surgeon, I always felt my thing that was ideal for us, at least in our labs, was try to get rid of surgery or any of those destructive ways of dealing with cancer. His work is an example of the exciting research being conducted at Charles Drew University. The next phase of Dr. Gonium's research will be to determine the best delivery method for the therapeutic yeast, the safety and efficacy of dosages, and to uncover the underlying mechanisms in the anti-cancer effect. We open the door to a very promising stage for treatment of cancer. Uh, the phenomena is very unique and uh, we are very happy to find that the cancer cell has weak point, that they love to eat yeast and they don't know that they will die after that. So I call it fatal attraction. <laughs>